So, ladies and gentlemen, I have mentioned on episode 122 of my podcast, Wrestling vs. the World, talking about many pieces of WWF slash WWE lost media, and not that long ago, we finally have full confirmation now that WWF Excess has been found and preserved in full. But I've also mentioned at the end of that video, where I was talking about, like, in that update to Excess, that there was a show that I was hoping would eventually get uploaded onto the internet. But I hadn't had all the episodes done with, and that is WWF Livewire. If you don't remember the show, it would start off as one of those like special live shows that would happen, I think, like Saturday mornings. They would take live calls from fans and everything like that. One of those shows, and then eventually became one of those typical recap slash summary shows. Like you see later on with like Action Zone and Superstar and stuff like that. Well, I was doing something off in the background since then. You can tell this is something big. I have posted on social media that I have been waiting for two VHS tapes that I purchased on eBay. Now, why was this so special? Well, because the two VHS tapes that I have right here contain episodes of WWF Livewire, one each, that have not been preserved on the internet yet. This one, I'm sure you all can kind of read as long as it's not backwards, the gentleman here ended up taping the February 17, 2001 edition of Livewire, as well as Super, uh, WCW Super Brawl 2001, I believe that's Super Brawl Revenge. And the other one from late 1999, uh, although he had accidentally missed a match on here, you have Sunday Night Heat from mid uh, August 2000, uh, sorry, 1999, the next episode of Raw. He's saying on Heat he forgot to record Big Show his game. And he's got the episode of Livewire right before SummerSlam. I have never seen these two before. I know there have been some episodes of Livewire that have been uploaded over on another website, but they're in German. But that's still better than nothing. But now, I have two episodes that have never been released. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to censor off my TV screen just because of copyright issues involving WWE. But I am going to be trying to look over this tape, these tapes and... You'll hear my own commentary seeing how things are. So it's going to be kind of the same format of what I did with the WWE PSP video from a little while back. So let us see how these all turn out. In fact, I'm going to start with the 2001 episode, though, because that should be right at the beginning. So, man, I'm going to have to rewind this tape. He's got, like, half of it done, half of it not. So let me rewind this. Make sure everything is going to be okay. Okay, yeah, right here he's got to... Whoa. Okay, so he's got Super Brawl Revenge right here, so he wasn't lying about that. So now I'm going to fully rewind the tape. So the Super Brawl Revenge part, it looks like he chopped off the beginning of it because all of a sudden the entrance was going to Sean O'Hare and Chuck Palumbo. I don't know any of the WCW matches because I'm not really a WCW guy, but I'm going to let this tape rewind and then I'll see how the 2001 episode of Livewire turned out. Okay, so now the tape has been rewound. The hour is worth behind, so an hour 2.38. So let me see how this turns out on the tape, seeing if... I mean, I think that's how long Livewire was, so maybe it includes commercials and everything, but let me see how this looks. Okay, right off the bat, it's kind of weird for some reason. It's got something involving WCW. I'm going to fast forward to this in a minute. Okay, so the weird thing about this one right now is... I know it's hard to tell because it's all censored. The first thing on the tape is the Super Brawl Revenge, and it's right in towards the mi middle half of the show, where it's the Lance Storm versus Ernest Cat Miller match. A little odd. All right, I've stopped the tape. I'm going to try to fast forward a... Around 15-ish minutes, try to see where Livewire starts. Because it is kind of peculiar. Now, up now we got Jeff Jarrett's match. So when he faced DDP. All right, fast forward another 10 minutes. Okay, so I have never seen Super Brawl, but it's then down to the part about Canyon turning on DDP, I guess. Who better than Canyon? Nobody! 
Okay, so from what I can tell based on the starting point, it was like... It looks like they missed the first two matches from the point where I started, but right at the beginning, it started from Canyon... or Not Canyon GDP, for... Ernest Miller versus Lance Storm. Which is, again, very weird. Most feels like it's out of order of sorts. Okay, so I just paused and went forward. Now we're at the... Rick Steiner versus Dustin Rhodes match. Let me see, 15 minutes in. Okay, something is not right here. It said there was live wire, but it looks like he must have taped over it. Yeah, so at first it says live wire, but now... What in the world happened? Let me at least check the other tape. Maybe I at least have one episode of live wire that I can preserve. I mean, it's like 60-40. Seeing live wires at the end, so let me see what we got. Okay, so from it looks like at this point it is an episode of Raw. It's that one where Triple H and Mankind went to a double pinfall draw, which is how they both became number one contenders and went against Stone Cold Steve Austin at SummerSlam. Okay, here we go. Daniel's jumping around a bit. Knock out, Stone Cold, been taken out. Controls here. About nine, eight to nine minutes in. It looks like live wire. Yep, I found Livewire, folks. It looks like this one is true. The Summer... or er, Livewire before SummerSlam. I'm loving this. And there was an advertisement saying, Tomorrow night, with Michael Cole hosting this thing. Giving a recap of something that... of promo between China and Triple H. Oh yeah, and it's that one where he's like, you listen here, you ungrateful bitch, uh. Okay, so from what I see so far now, it looks like the guy actually stopped recording during commercial, so... Time saver there. Even though I have been on XMT and I have seen a lot of... these tape broadcasts where people leave the commercials in, which is also kind of nice. You get to see commercials of the old days. Reminder says, Blackman and Shamrock, Shane Tess, oh, Shane's in the control center talking about... Talking to Michael Cole. And the commercial skip. To recap, hyping up the tag match between Kane and X-Pac and the Unholy Alliance, aka Undertaker and Big Show for SummerSlam. A big brawl, brawling tag match against the Acolytes. Okay, and the promo where Jericho interrupted the Undertaker and Big Show. I guess it was that one where Undertaker cut the promo about. Snakeskin boots and all that shit. So now a recap of what was going on with the number one contendership to Stone Cold's WWF Championship involving Triple H, China, and Mankind. A recap of the feud of The Rock and Billy Gunn and all that junk. We finished with what we once again saw at the end of Raw. Involving Triple H, Mankind, ending in a draw there. Match card summary. Pretty much nothing new extra there. I thought I would have at least seen the big boss man, Al Snow one. Now they got episode of Super... I don't know if he's got the full episode of Superstars here or just part of it, but all of a sudden he's got the beginning of Superstars here afterwards. So almost a complete episode of Livewire there. I'm going to do my best to record this, get this in 4x3 aspect ratio, and then get up to... Extreme Wrestling Torrent takes WT. But yeah, so I'm gonna, on the offside, I'm gonna also try to rewatch that original tape, the first one, because I guess he must have taped over uh, the episode of Livewire, because I'm not seeing a single second of that 2001 episode. I mean, I'm not gonna knock it against guy. Mistakes happen, but it looks like I do have an episode of Livewire that has not seen the light of day yet. Love it. So, let me know what you all thought in the comment section below, and again, I apologize that I had to censor the screen, but I gotta be careful with 
copyright. It's the same reason why I had to censor the screen when I did the WrestleMania 24 PSP video. But let me know you all thought in the comment section below, and I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, and good day, everybody.